dead man on your floor. It's the second shooter to bring that away. Did you get a look at him? Uh, no, I was too busy returning fire. Any idea who stopped him? I mean, you got here right after the shooting stopped. That's perfect timing. Unless you're watching the case. What? No, it's a coincidence. I was coming over here to get more details about Sonny attacking Dex. I heard shots and I drew my weapon. You gotta call this in. Oh, I guess I'm not beat me to it. I'm going to explain myself to you after all your lies and broken promises. I never lied to you about okay. Jason. Just broken promises, if they're... You know what I think? Oh, I'm sure I'm going to hear it. You still haven't made up your mind about Jason. Deep down, you still trust him. You might want to hate him, but you still trust him. Is that what you did? Wait a second. You came here for the reality check you knew I would give you. So here it is. You've never had a friend like Jason, and you never will. And even now, even though after everything you've accused him of, he still has your back. And you know it. Deep down, you feel it. Do I? You know why you're struggling with all of this? Because you can't erase Jason from your life. And if we're both being honest, you don't want to. I didn't come here to bury my soul to the earth. <laughs> I'm going upstairs to see Blaze. Are you serious? Please tell me you're not going up there to ask Blaze to defend you to Christina. I'm so sorry. I, uh, telling Molly was a complete accident. How? How does someone say something like that by accident, Allie? Well, I ran into Molly outside of Bobby's. At, at first, it was a totally normal conversation, but then she wanted to talk about what happened with you at the wedding, so I thought she knew about your dad, but it turns out she was just fishing. Of course she was. Of course she was just fishing. That's what Molly does. She gets information out of people. She's a lawyer. She's a damn good one, too. I cannot believe you fell for that. Look, look, okay, look. She could tell from my reaction that something had happened, and I was afraid that if I didn't tell her, she would just ask you, and it would upset you even more. So... I told her what your dad did to Dex and that you witnessed it and that you called me from the bank. So why didn't you tell me about this right away? Because I didn't want to make it a bigger thing than it was. And I completely assured her that you and the baby are fine. I highly doubt that she believed you. Molly and TJ are already convinced that I'm not responsible enough to take care of this child as it is now. This is definitely not going to help. I'm so sorry, Christina. Look, if I could take it back, I would. Oh my God, this is really bad. Allie, Molly is an ADA. She has the power to prosecute my father, even if Dex doesn't file charges himself. She seemed completely fine when oh. we said goodbye. She didn't seem upset at all. I mean, in fact, she said that she was headed to your mom's house. I mean, didn't you see her there? Did she say anything about it? No. At least she didn't. She said nothing. And that makes it even worse. I assume you're here to see Cerny. But he isn't home yet. I'm expecting him very shortly, though, so you're, you're welcome to wait, if you like. Um, yeah, okay, thanks. Well, come on in. Can I get you a drink or something? Oh, no, thank you. I actually come bearing alcohol because I remember that single malt scotch that Sunny liked so much, so I just picked him up a bottle. Just, you know, to say thank you for inviting me to the quarter main wedding. Okay, so thoughtful. Well, I hear it was a very uh, lively affair. <laughs> Especially the reception. <laughs> Was it? Like this hat. I gotta give you credit, Jack. Not everyone would stab themselves in the stomach. <laughs> I don't 